Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to crochet a very cute lacy summer top. I love this top, it's so cute. And I have free written pattern for size extra small to double XL, it's available on my blog. But if you prefer the PDF, pinnable version is available on my Etsy shop and my Ravelry store and I will put all the link in description below and for this tutorial I show you in size small and this is gonna be the part one and I hope you enjoy here is the materials that I use for this project and first of all I want to say thank you to my friend she she sent me this yarn it's very nice and this is size 2 spot weight yarn. You can use different brand but looking for number 2 spot weight yarn, okay? And for size small, I use almost the whole full skin. I have a little bit left. And in one ball, it have 225 meter and 50 gram and it's about 246 yards per each ball okay I use almost four balls for size small every size is, is different and then crochet hook size four millimeters scissors and yarn needle before we start I just want to talk about the pattern a little bit for this pattern we're gonna make two panels exactly the same okay and we start make the chain right here at the bottom here and the chain that you make gonna be the width of your top the body width so for size small is 17.55 inches width for the body okay and then we're gonna crochet back and forth back and forth back and forth until we reach the armpit here that point we're gonna start make the chain this side and then this side to be the sleeve okay this is just some idea but I go slowly when I show you how to make it okay and after that we keep crochet back and forth back and forth and then when we come to this point this is gonna be the sleeve and shoulder this side as well and then we will leave the um, space open for the neck hole I will tell you exactly how many stitches you're gonna skip and also here I will tell you exactly how many chain you're gonna make to create the sleeve okay and for this part if you want longer sleeve you can do that as well just make sure it's multiple of six don't worry I go slowly in a pattern this is just some idea like I said okay so for this sleeve to this sleeve includes the body I have 33.55 inches width okay and then the length is gonna be the row that you made so here I have 13.64 inches length that's what I want now if you want longer top or even you want to make a dress you're gonna keep crochet back and forth back and forth before you start to create this sleeve okay keep adding more row right here all right and then when you have two panels oh one more thing at the end here i leave a long tail this side and then this side for sewing the shoulder part and slip part here to the other panel so now in one panel you just need to leave a long tail just one panel so the other panel you make everything the same but you don't need to leave a long tail at the end because you already leave a long tail in one panel Okay, when you have two panels, you're going to lay them like this with the wrong side facing up. We're going to sew on the wrong side. We're going to sew the sleeve and the shoulder here. Leave a long tail that we left earlier. Okay, and after we sew, we're going to fold it in half. And then we're going to cut a new strand of yarn and sew the side seam here. Start from the bottom up. Till we reach the armpit and continue crochet sorry <laughs> and continue uh, sew the sleeve do the same at this side okay and also sew on the wrong side and all that you can use any method you prefer 
okay that's it for the idea for the pattern and next I gonna show you uh, the pattern stitches okay let's talk about the pattern here for this pattern is multiple of 6 plus 3 if you don't know what is multiple of 6 plus 3 you're gonna make 6 chains, 6 chains, 6 chains, 6 chains and so on and then at the end you're gonna add 3 more chains okay that is multiple of 6 plus 3 so if you understand that you can make many things you can make bigger projects smaller project whatever you want to make if you understand that it's very easy so like if you want to make like bigger than whatever the stitches I give it to you you just add six chain six chain six chain but then at the end you add three more chains that it <laughs> okay it's very easy and then for this pattern is four row repeat which is row two to row five okay so here this is row two right here to row five see and then next row two to row five again and then row two to row five like that okay so if you want longer you keep adding row two to row five two to five two to five like that and if you want shorter you make less repeat make less uh, row two to row five and I recommend you guys to make a gauge swatch first it's very important for you to make a gauge swatch before you uh, create like a garment like that it's very important okay so after you make a gauge here you're gonna block it so for me I block it by put in uh, warm water for like 15 minutes and then I let it dry on the floor overnight okay and then for the gauge here 18 double crochet stitches equal 4 inches I show you how so I'm gonna put put anywhere you like where is the double crochet is it's easy to uh, measure it okay so here see this uh, start count from here this pink line here so one double crochet two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen see eighteen double crochet equal four inches this is gonna be the width of your project okay and then for the length it's gonna be the row okay so here is one row one row two row three four five six seven eight so here I have eight and half row equal four inches see eight and half row equal four inches in the uh, pattern stitch okay so this is gonna be the length so I have 18 double crochet stitches equal 4 inches and then 8 and half rows in the pattern stitch equal 4 inches. So yeah, if you want to use um, different brand of yarn or different side of yarn, make sure you make a gauge swatch. And if you don't know how to adjust the crochet sizes, I have the video tutorial for that just for that how you can adjust your crochet sizes if you want to use different kind of yarn or different size of yarn you can do everything you like and yeah I highly recommend that video tutorial and I'm also gonna put the link in description below as well and yeah that's it and then let's get started to start I gonna make a slip knot first and then for this pattern is multiple of 6 plus 3 and for size small I'm gonna make 81 chains that is multiple of 6 plus 3 if you don't know what is multiple of 6 plus 3 you're gonna make 6 chains, 6 chains, 6 chains, 6 chains and then at the end you're gonna add 3 more chains okay so I'm gonna make 81 chains 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 
two, three, four, five. Okay, keep making the chain. Make sure to make your chain loosely. And I will be back when I have 81 chains. Now I have 81 chain. And then for row one, gonna be the right side. For an odd number row, gonna be the right side. And for an even number row, gonna be the wrong side. So row one is the right side. And then we're gonna make one double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. We're gonna skip three chain. And then the three chain that we skip is count as one double crochet. Okay, so skip one, two, and three. And then into the next chain, we're gonna make a double crochet. So yarn over, insert the hook into the fourth chain from hook. Skip three chain. And I always like to go into the little bump on the back of the chain here. You also can go into the normal chain stitch as well, whatever you prefer. After I insert the hook, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook. I yarn over, put through two loops, yarn over, put through two loops. And now I have two double crochet. Okay, because the first three chain counts as one double crochet. And then we're just going to make one double crochet into each chain stitch across. So I yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain. Again, I go into the little bump on the back of the next chain here. Pull up a loop, yarn over, put through two loops, yarn over, put through two loops. Now I have three chains. Repeat that, yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain. Here, I go into the little bump again. Pull up a loop, yarn over, put through two loops, yarn over, put through two loops. Repeat that, yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain. I go into the little bump again, <laughs> like that. Pull up a loop, yarn over, put through two loops, yarn over, put through two loops. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain. I insert into the little bump here. Pull up a loop, yarn over, put through two loops, yarn over, put through two loops. Okay, so you're gonna keep making one double crochet into each chain stitch across. And the reason I go into the little bump on the back of the chain is give me a very nice edge here. Okay, again, whatever you prefer. You can go into the normal chain stitch as well. And I will meet you guys back in when I reach the end of row 1. I'm at the end of row 1 here and I have 79 double crochet stitches. Includes the first 3 chain that we skipped to. Okay, so for row 2... I'm gonna chain one and turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and then the chain one doesn't count at a stitch and then we're gonna make one single crochet into the first stitch right here so insert the hook into the first stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both loop that is the uh, single crochet and then here is what we're gonna make row two here Okay, so to do that, we're going to start with chain 2, 1, and 2, and skip 2 stitches, 1, 2, and make a V stitch into the next stitch. So for the V stitch, you're going to make 1 double crochet, chain 2, and 1 double crochet, all into the same stitch, okay? So I yarn over, I make 2 chain here, I skip 2, and then insert the hook into the next stitch, Pull up a loop, yarn over, put through two loops, yarn over, put through two loops. Okay, that first double crochet, and now we're gonna chain two, one and two, and then make one more double crochet into the same stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, put through two loops, yarn over, put through two loops. And now we have a V stitch. See, we have double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. That is the V stitch. And now we're going to chain 2, 1 and 2, and skip 2 stitches, 1, 2, and make 1 single crochet into the next stitch. So I skip 2 here and insert the hook into next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. That is the single crochet. And that's what this looks like so far. And next, we're just going to uh, repeat when we first start here, which is chain 2. Right, and then skip two stitches, one and two, and make V stitch into the next 
yarn over skip two here insert the hook into the next and make a V stitch so start with one double crochet chain two and one more double crochet into the same stitch okay see now I have two V stitches and then we're gonna repeat this part which is chain two skip two stitches one and two and make one single crochet into next stitch see like that and then you're just gonna repeat that okay which is chain two one two skip two stitches one and two and make v stitch into the next see the pattern is start to repeat right chain two and one more double crochet into the same stitch that is the third v stitch so now i have three v stitches and then chain two skip two stitches one and two and make one single crochet into the next stitch like that you're just gonna keep repeating that see so next you're gonna chain two skip two stitches and make a v stitch into the next chain two skip two stitches and make one single crochet into the next you're gonna keep repeating that you will have um see like this one you have single crochet so next gonna be a v stitch and then next one gonna be single crochet next one gonna be a v stitch but always you're gonna skip two stitches in between that and also you're gonna chain two like that all right i show you one more time so this i have single crochet right so next i gonna chain two one and two skip two one two and make v stitch into the next see now i have a single crochet next gonna be a v stitch and i chain two and skip two two okay right and next gonna be a single crochet because this one i have a v stitch here so i chain two first and skip two one two and make single crochet into the next stitch like that it's very easy so next so here you have single crochet right and next you're gonna chain two skip two and make a v stitch and then chain two skip two and make single crochet like that <laughs> okay keep repeating that until you reach the end of row two and then for the last stitch the last single crochet you're gonna make into the third chain here that we skip from row one don't worry i will make the last single crochet with you i will meet you guys back in now i'm at the end of row two here but i haven't finished the uh, row two yet so after i make the last v stitch that's what it look like and next i gonna chain two one and two and then make one single crochet into the last stitch which is the third chain right here okay it's the same i skip two stitches one and two one single crochet into the last stitch right into the third chain here right here is it the hook there pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both loops and now row two is complete and the end of row two i have 13 v stitches i show you how to count that okay remember the v stitch is double crochet chain two and double crochet that is one v stitch so i show you how to count that i'm sure you know how to count but i just want to make sure <laughs> okay so here is one oops one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen okay i have thirteen v stitches at the end of row two again this is for size small every size it is different just follow your side <laughs> okay row three i gonna start with chain three one oops one two and three the first three chains 
always count as one double crochet and then turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and now into each V stitch we're gonna make fan puff stitch so for the fan puff stitch it's gonna look like this okay it's have one puff chain one one puff chain one and one puff all into the same space that count as one fan puff stitch okay so the puff stitch you're gonna yarn over insert the hook into the two chain space that you make a V stitch okay right here not this one or this one right into the V stitch all right so gonna be this one so I yarn over hook insert the hook into the V stitch the two chain space pull up a loop I have three loops on my hook I gonna do that two more times so it's gonna be three times total so yarn over hook again insert the hook into the same space pull up a loop this is the second time and I have five loops on my hook so one more time yarn over insert the hook into the same space pull up a loop this is the third time and I have seven loops on my hook and now I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all seven loops on my hook so I hold it right here and then I yarn over hook and turn the tip of my hook down so easy to pull through all the loops on my hook like that okay and then I gonna chain one and this chain one doesn't count as chain one it's the part of the puff stitch so now I have one puff stitch okay and then I gonna chain one so this chain one is count as one chain space and then I gonna make a puff stitch again into the same space do exactly the same yarn over hook insert the hook into the same space pull up a loop do that three times so this is the first time yarn over insert the hook into the same space pull up a loop this is the second time yarn over insert the hook into the same space pull up a loop this is the third time and I have seven loops on my hook and now I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all the loops on my hook so I like to hold it right here everyone like different way to pull uh, through all the loops whatever you prefer and whatever is comfortable and easy for you this is how I like to do okay so I yarn over hook and then pull through all the loops on my hook like that and then I chain one again this chain one is the part of the puff stitch it doesn't count as chain one right and next I gonna chain one and this chain one count as one chain space and then I need to make one more puff stitch into the same space do exactly the same yarn over insert the hook into the same space pull up a loop this is the first time yarn over insert the hook into the same space pull up a loop this is the second time yarn over insert the hook into the same space yarn over pull up a loop this is the third time and I have seven loops on my hook and then I gonna yarn over and pull through all seven loops like that and then chain one again this chain one is the part of the puff stitch so here is what it look like now I have one fan puff stitch so see I have one puff chain one one puff chain one and one puff that count as one fan puff stitch all right and then next space gonna be this one into the V stitch into the two chain space to move on to the next space I gonna chain one in between so I gonna chain one and this chain one count as one chain space and then I gonna make fan puff stitch into the next space here as well so I'm gonna make a puff stitch first yarn over insert the hook pull up a loop do that three times so this first time second time and third time and I have seven loops on my hook I yarn over and pull through all seven loops and chain one to finish the first puff stitch okay and then now I chain one this chain one count as one chain space and make a puff stitch again into the same space yarn over insert the hook pull up a loop this is the first time second time and third time and I have seven loops on my hook gonna yarn over and pull through all seven loops 
and chain one again this chain one is the part of the puff stitch doesn't count at this stitch and now I'm gonna chain one and this chain one covers one chain space and make one more puff stitch yarn over insert the hook three times this is the first time second time and the third time I have seven loops on my hook I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all seven loops like that okay and then I chain one the chain one is the part of the pop stitch it doesn't count a chain one <laughs> okay so now I have two fan puff stitches see I have a puff stitch chain one and a puff and chain one and a puff it's count as one fan puff so two fan puff stitches so far and you're just gonna repeat that okay and you always gonna crochet into the V stitch the chain 2 space as you can see here see this a V stitch I have fan puff on top a V stitch fan puff on top a V stitch fan puff sorry fan puff on top like that and before you move on to the next fan puff you need to chain one okay you have a chain one here in between that so next you're gonna chain one and make a fan puff which is puff stitch chain one puff stitch chain one and puff stitch right and then when you're gonna move on you're gonna chain one first and then move on and do exactly the same just keep repeating that okay so keep repeating that until the end and then for the last double crochet you're gonna crochet into this stitch which is the single crochet stitch from the previous row and I will miss you guys back in I will make the last double crochet with you I'm at the end of row 3 here but I haven't made the last stitch yet so after I make the last fan puff stitch don't make the chain 1 there okay remember when we start we don't have the chain 1 before we start we just have 3 chain count as 1 double crochet and then we just make a fan puff stitch right so at the end after you make the last fan puff you don't need to chain 1 there and then after that we're gonna make the last double crochet into the single crochet stitch from the previous row right here so I yarn over insert the hook into the last stitch here pull up a loop yarn over put through two loops yarn over put through two loops like that and the end of row 3 I have 13 fan puff stitches you're gonna have the same amount of the V stitch from the previous row because we crochet into the V stitch okay so for row 4 I'm gonna chain 4 1 2 3 and 4 and turn the first 3 chain count as 1 double crochet and then the chain 1 count as 1 chain space and then we are gonna make 1 double crochet into the 1 chain space here yarn over insert the hook into the one chain space and then chain one one double crochet into the next one chain space chain one one double crochet into the next one chain space like that we're just gonna repeat that chain one one double crochet into the next one chain space chain one one double crochet into the next one chain space chain one one double crochet into next one chain space like that okay very easy as you can see here we always gonna crochet into the one chain space when we make the puff stitch we have a one chain space in between right and then we also have one chain in between each fan puff stitch as well so you always gonna crochet into one chain space but also have to chain one first like that okay see here here is row four okay so next you're gonna chain one and make one double crochet into the next one chain space in between the puff stitches chain one one double crochet into the next one chain space 
in between the puff stitches chain one one double crochet into the next one chain space in between the fan puff stitches like that okay and I will meet you guys back in when you reach the end of row four I'm at the end of row four here but I haven't made the last double crochet yet just want to show you guys <laughs> so I have chain one here already and next I'm gonna make the last double crochet into the last stitch which is the third chain okay so here is the first chain second chain and third chain I'm gonna yarn over insert the hook into the third chain there and make the last double crochet like that okay and the end of row four I have total of 40 double crochet stitches so you count See, one, two, three, four, five, like that. Just count double crochet stitches. Include the first three chain as well. You're gonna uh, count the first three chain as one double crochet as well. And then for row five, I'm gonna chain three. One, two, and three. And turn, or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And the first three chain always count as one double crochet. And we're gonna double crochet into the one chain space here. Right here. And then one double crochet into the double crochet stitch right here right into the double crochet stitch from the previous row like that now i have three double crochets so far and then double crochet into the one chain space and one double crochet into the double crochet stitch right here okay so you're just gonna keep repeating that and then next you're gonna make one double crochet into the one chain space and then one double crochet into the double crochet stitch one double crochet into the one chain space one double crochet into the double crochet stitch like that okay very easy and then i will meet you guys back in when you reach the end of row five i'm at the end of row five here but i haven't made the last two double crochet yet so when you work look like this you're gonna make one double crochet into the last chain one space and then one double crochet into the last stitch which is the third chain okay so two more double crochet for me that i have to make so i yarn over insert the hook into the last space here pull up a loop and make a double crochet oops and then i'm gonna make the last double crochet into the third chain here so yarn over, insert the hook into the third chain here. Oops. Okay. <laughs> like that. Okay. And then the end of row five, I have total of 79 double crochet stitches. It's the same amount of the double crochet stitches at the uh, row one. Okay. And like I said, this pattern is four row repeat which is row 2 to row 5 and next I'm gonna repeat row 2 to row 5 row 2 to row 5 like that okay I show you here this is row 2 to row 5 this is row 2 to row 5 row 2 to row 5 like that and for size small you're gonna repeat row 2 to row 5 two more times and you will have total of 13 rows and now if you want longer even you make size small but you want longer top or even you want to make a dress you can you're gonna keep repeating row two to row five more than two more times show you here real quick and see here so after i repeat row two to row five two more times and I will have 13 rows right total from the bottom to here and I will reach this part this part before I create the sleeve okay if you want longer keep repeating row 2 to row 5 over and over and then after that after you are happy with your length and next you're gonna create the sleeve 
Okay? And yeah, for me, I repeat row 2 to row 5 two more times. That's what I like. So here. So now I'm right here. Now I'm right here. See here? I'm right here. And next, this is row 2 to row 5, row 2 to row 5. See? Two more times. And after that, I'm going to create the sleeve. This is my sleeve, which is this one. Right? And then the other side, this one. And yeah, anyway. <laughs> Too much talking. <laughs> and row six, start repeat row two. I show you a couple stitches. So I chain one. Do exactly the same when you do row two. I chain one and I turn. The chain one doesn't count at its stitch. And then make one single crochet into the first stitch. Like that. And then I chain two here. And then skip two stitches. One, two, and make V stitch into the next. Again, V stitch is double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. And then I chain two, skip two stitches, one and two, one single crochet into the next, like that, and repeat that. Chain two, skip two, one, two, and V stitch into the next. So double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Like that, chain two, skip two, one, two, one single crochet into the next, like that. See, I do exactly the same when I make row uh, two. See, the V stitch. So, row six, I repeat row two, row seven, repeat row three, row eight, repeat row four, row nine, repeat row five, like that. Two to five, two to five. And I recommend you guys to count your stitches every row so you're not increased or decreased by accident. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and repeat row 2 to row 5 two more times. And I will have a total of 13 rows. Start count from the first row here. I will have 13 rows. And then I will meet you guys back in and good luck. Okay, now after I repeat row 2 to row 5, three more times. And I have 13 rows here. Okay, this is the end of row 13. See, this is row 2 to row 5, row 2 to row 5. And then next, we're going to start create the sleeve. And now, for the sleeve, we're going to make the chain here. Okay, and then make the chain into the other side as well. And if you want longer sleeve you're gonna keep make the chain as long as you like but make sure it's multiple of six stitches and both sides have to be even so for me I make 36 chains that is multiple of six I make 36 chain on this side and then 36 chain into the other side okay so this is the end of row 13 and then I'm going to make the chain to start create the sleeve. This is not going to count as any row, just the setup row for the sleeve, okay? So I'm going to make 36 chain loosely. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I will be back when I have 36 chains. Now I have 36 chain. In this side and then I just gonna cut the yarn actually this side we gonna start crochet next row you don't need to cut the yarn if you don't want to but you need to have a new strand of yarn and then add 36 chain into the other side as well okay so for me I think this the easy way to expand and then how to show you guys without confusing so I just gonna cut the yarn okay and then I put the yarn out like that and then I gonna add the yarn into the other side and make 36 chain exactly the same when we make into this side okay I insert into the third 
chain so here is the third chain like that and then bring the new yarn and hold it on the back like that and bring it up and then start making the chain make 36 chain so one two three four five six okay i will be back when i have 36 chain and make sure to make your chain loosely now i have 36 chain on this side as well and then i just gonna cut the yarn like that and then pull the yarn out okay so now we have a a, a chain for the sleeve set up on this side and also on this side as well so see now we have the body here and then we have the chain here and have the chain here and next we're just gonna crochet back and forth for the sleeve and then the body okay all right so now for row 14 we're gonna turn we're gonna turn and then we're gonna start add the yarn into the first chain here remember when i said you don't need to cut the yarn into the first side that you make uh, 36 chain because we're gonna start crochet into that side the first side that we make 36 chain right but again i just want to keep it easy and keep it try to not confuse you as much as i can <laughs> all right so now this is row 14 the wrong side will facing you because row 14 is an even number row like i said the even number row is the wrong side so wrong side facing you start row 14 bring a new yarn and add the new yarn into the first chain here the first chain here insert the hook into the first chain and bring the new yarn and hold it on the back and yarn over pull up a loop and chain one the chain one doesn't count as a stitch and then i'm gonna make one single crochet into the same chain that we just add the new yarn right here into the first chain set the hook there pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both loop this is the first single crochet of row 14 and then we're gonna make the same as row 2 but instead of crochet into the normal stitch we're gonna crochet into the chain here right but exactly the same pattern so we start with chain 2 so we have single crochet here and chain 2 and then we're gonna skip two chain 1 and 2 and make V stitch into the next chain but I always like to go into the little bump on the back of the chain you can go into the normal chain stitch as well whatever you prefer whatever make you happy okay so I yarn over skip two insert the hook into the next chain and make a V stitch so start with double crochet chain two and one more double crochet into the same stitch that is the first v stitch of row 14 and then i chain two skip two chain and make one single crochet into the next again i go into the little bump on the back like that and make single crochet and then i chain two skip two chain one and two and make v stitch into the next yarn over insert the hook i insert into the little bump again that's what i like to do so one double crochet chain two and one double crochet that is the second v stitch see it's the same pattern when we make uh, row two so next i chain two skip two chains one and two and make one single crochet into the next right here like that show you a couple more times I chain two skip two chains one and two a v stitch into the next oops sorry <laughs> all right like that and then chain two 
skip two chain one and two one single crochet into the next like that okay see it's the same pattern when we make row two exactly the same and next you're gonna chain two skip two and make one V stitch into the next chain two skip two single crochet into the next chain two skip two V stitch into the next and then when you read the normal stitch just keep going the same you're gonna keep doing the same single crochet chain two like that keep going um i will be back when you read this uh the first normal stitch just want to make sure you get it but i'm sure you get it but i meet you guys back in anyway <laughs> okay now i read the uh normal stitch here <laughs> So after I make this V stitch, I already chain two here, and then next I'm gonna skip two chains. So one and two, and one single crochet into the next stitch, which is the first normal stitch. Okay, right here, like that, and then keep going the same. Next gonna be chain two skip two stitches one and two and make v stitch into the next and then chain two skip two stitches one and two and make one single crochet into the next like that see the same pattern as row two okay so next you're gonna chain two skip two one uh, v stitch into the next chain two skip two one single crochet into the next and then when you reach the chain stitch part on the other side keep going the same keep do the same when you do for this side okay and don't forget to crochet into the third chain as well this third chain okay the third chain that when you add the new yarn to make the chain make uh, crochet into that third chain as well don't forget that all right and then yeah keep going take your time and i will be back when you reach the end of row 14. i'm at the end of row 14 here but i haven't made the last single crochet yet so this is gonna be the last v stitch and then after that i chain two and next i gonna skip two chain one and two and make one single crochet into the next chain which is the last chain okay right here like that and the end of row 14 I have 25 V stitches okay here's what this look like and now it's gonna be the same pattern so row 15 you repeat row 3 16 repeat row 4 17 repeat row 5 like that okay and i try to not make this video too long so i gonna give you written pattern on the screen like uh what row should you repeat okay and then uh, how many stitches you should have in each row as well and also written pattern on my blog okay so here is the end of row 14 I show you a couple more stitches of row 15 so like I said row 15 we repeat row 3 which is the fan puff stitch row so start with chain 3 1 2 and 3 and turn and the chain 3 always counts as one double crochet and then fan pop stitch into the V stitch into the 2 chain space do exactly the same when you do the uh, row 3 so yarn over hook, insert the hook into the V stitch pull up a loop, do that 3 times this is the first time, second time, third time and I have 7 loops on my hook I yarn over and pull through all 7 loops and chain 1 and the chain one is a part of pop stitch again <laughs> and now I chain one I'm gonna make pop stitch into the same space again yarn over insert the hook three times this is the first time second time and the third time and I have seven loops on my hook 
I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all seven loops and chain one. The chain one is a part of the puff stitch, and now I'm gonna chain one, and then one more puff stitch. Oops. One, two, three. Seven loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through all the loops, and chain one. See? Now we have the first fan puff stitch. Okay? Oops. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Before we move on to the next space, we're gonna chain one in between that, and the next space which is the V stitch here. We're gonna make one fan puff again, yarn over, insert the hook three times. Yarn over and pull through all the loops, like that, chain one. See, do exactly the same, like that. Okay, see, very easy, it's the same pattern. Alright, so I'm gonna give you written pattern like I said because I don't want to make this video too long and I'm sure you know how to do that already because it's the same pattern. Look at it. The same pattern. The whole top is the same pattern. And then for the last row, which is row 29, this is gonna be the last row, we gonna do a little different. So we are gonna create the uh, neck hole space here. Okay, I will come back when I reach the end of row 28 and row 29, gonna be the final row. I will show you how to do that. Okay. All right, so please take your time, count your stitches, and good luck. I'm at the end of row 28 here. And then next, gonna be the final row, which is row 29 for size small. Okay, so for row 29, we're gonna create this shoulder and sleeve here, and then we're gonna leave the space open for the neck hole. Okay, I show you how to do that. So we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. The first three chain, scout is one double crochet and then turn. Or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And then uh, we're gonna make one double crochet into the one chain space here. And then one double crochet into the double crochet stitch. One double crochet into the one chain space. One double crochet into the double crochet stitch. Actually, we kinda uh, repeat row 5 right now, but we're not gonna crochet all the way across. You're gonna keep crochet until you have 53 double crochet. So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So yeah, I have 5 double crochet. I'm gonna keep crochet until I have 53 double crochet. Okay, you're gonna make a double crochet into the one chain space and double crochet into the double crochet stitch. Double crochet in one chain space, double crochet into the double crochet stitch until you have 53 double crochet. Again, this is for size small. Every size is, is different and I tell you exactly with your size how many stitches should you make. Okay, for size small, I'm gonna keep making until I have 53 double crochet and then I will be back. Now I have 53 double crochet stitches includes the first three chain, okay? And then here is what we add right now. We already have this side. This side doesn't have this part yet. Okay, and then next we're gonna create this side. To do that, we're gonna cut the yarn. So like I said, two panels is make exactly the same, but one panel, you don't need to leave a long tail at the, at the shoulder here at the end. You just need to uh, leave a long tail, just one panel only. So in this panel here, I already leave a long tail for that. Here and then the other side here. It's pretty long. Okay, so yeah. So in this panel, I don't need to leave a long tail, so I'm just gonna cut it. Just enough to weaving the end later and then pull the yarn out. Alright, and then 
I'm gonna skip 45 stitches at the middle here for the neck hole opening. You're gonna count the chain one space at one stitch as well. Okay, so start count from here. This is the first stitch right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. Okay? I skip 45 and then into the next stitch there, I'm going to add a new yarn. So like that. I have 45 stitches that I skip. And then I bring the new yarn and add the new yarn right into the next stitch. So I bring the loop out like that. And then I chain 3. 1, 2, and 3. And the first 3 chain count as 1 double crochet. And then I'm going to double crochet into the 1 chain space. Oops. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Okay. And then 1 double crochet into the double crochet stitch. 1 double crochet into the 1 chain space. 1 double crochet into the double crochet stitch. Like that. Okay, you're going to keep making that exactly the same when we do this side and then at the end the last stitch gonna be into the third chain okay and then at the end i should have 53 double crochet as same as this side that we make you want both sides to be even all right and yeah i gonna keep making double crochet into the next one chain space one double crochet into the double crochet stitch like that until the end and then at the end I will be back okay now I'm at the end of the row 29 here and I also have 53 double crochet stitches on this side as well same at this side okay and then I skip 45 stitches at the middle all right and then I just gonna cut the yarn again I'm not gonna leave a long tail for this panel just cut the yarn enough to weave in the end later and pull the yarn out and we done with the panel and you need two of this okay exactly the same but sorry one thing that not the same you need to leave a long tail one panel for both in okay okay after you have two panels we're gonna sew the panels together and I will show you how to do that in the part two and I will see you in the part two.